The reward for the most cliche line goes to me. So, I'm here. For a place belonging to posh ass agency, this is weird. If they wanted to have a decor that corresponds with story, they succeeded. It's dark, there are rats, and it's weird paintings. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I felt like it was some fucked up experiment. Especially since the man called to check if I'm working soon after I entered. <laughs> I heard a strange noise when I was about to start writing. But it turned out that it were only rats. I think. I thought I saw later. I called to let him know I'm here. He always cheers me up. Don't ride city buses. This is your chance to end segregation. Children change every... Reach for your own experience. I know what it is to be a parent. What changes with a child? Channel it! We had an agreement, a deadline that you prolonged for the third time now. If you don't finish this screenplay, someone else will. Here, son. It'll help with the pain. Come on! What happened to you when your daughter was born? Tell me! Doctor? No. It, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No. You don't understand. It's dark. It's awful, and I can't write. Everything is... Hello? Hello? Fuck! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What your surprise? Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. How?
How? She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. And now, with my help, it's possible. Do you choose to use it? Say it. I do. I choose your help. Then, it is done. Hello? Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? Uh, what do you mean? I, uh... You were scared, and the call was cut off, and... Oh, that... That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... I'm good, son. It's as you said, I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. Moths drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. He tried to pull himself together. <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's gonna be a boy or a girl.
Let her be herself. Even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I've never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now, I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again? Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. As for your question, my sister tells me that Anne Blackwood is an extraordinary childminder. From what I saw, she deserves such praise.
this to me. to move most of the dolls out of her room. It was getting ridiculous. You can't just throw gifts at her whenever you feel guilty for... whatever it is you feel guilty for. She needs a father, not another useless distraction. What are you even playing with? Here and here, bam. The 
and becomes king. It's just a matter of finding a good combination. My little bird loved this game. Peace and quiet to work. Is that too much to ask? This house is not a playground! Your child is barely two years old. It's absolutely normal that she doesn't talk yet. It's not the nanny's fault, and no. Stimulating your daughter's mind by reading her Nietzsche is not a good idea. For God's sake. I know she adores that toy, but I don't know. Something about it is very unsettling. Maybe it's the way she plays with it. She's not a happy child. It shows sometimes when she plays. It breaks my heart to see it. Brush as soft as a child's hair. Where did that come from? 
That's not a good toy for her. Is this supposed to be funny? You like it, my little bird? Okay, we'll buy it. It will look great on the fireplace, don't you think, honey? your child I should have let her express herself
Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama as social services accompanied by armed police officers descended upon the residence of a once famous painter and a recent widower. Apparently, the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and absconded with one of the young patients. Our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that as the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn.
near the blueberry bush by the Emerald Creek. Oh, my children. You're both so sweet. I could each be an example. Finish it! Finish. This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. He simply wasn't enough.
comes to me at the bottom of the bottle. The horned master of cubism. We drink to the fall of reality. Till the shapes sharpen and I cut myself on the rectangular, infinitely straight edges of my glass. And he retreats to his nest in the iris of my left eye. It's hopeless. I... I just can't take it anymore. I might as well try to paint with both of my arms broken. Art is beauty, writes. A painter recognized widely for his talent a few years back. These painters, as they call themselves, either forgot what beauty is, or decided to insult it. Waste of paint, waste of talent, waste of time. every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt. Screeching arsonists. Echoing screams. 
They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Everything I do, I do to stop thinking. To stop the questions. Is this really the house I know? Where am I? What, what is behind that door? What is behind me? The questions are worse than anything that can actually happen. It is no wonder that an old star rebels against the light of the sun that outshines it. Truth is, those paintings have been bland and overly conventional for many years now. They don't evoke feelings. They don't say anything important. They are, at best, pleasant to look at. Art shouldn't be pleasant. It should be world-changing. I loved him the most when he lost himself. Fucking mutt won't shut up! Hey! I can do that too! <laughs> See? But can you paint? No? Well, that's alright. Neither can I. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. While this is true of many works of art, sometimes the words that come to mind are hardly flattering. Babyface is one such painting. This artistic anomaly continues to inspire thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts, when in fact, it is little more than a sideshow attraction. Frankly, this is hardly even art. It's merely a doodle. It's what you get when you lock a not very well adjusted painter in a dark basement for a week. Even putting aside the flawed execution, the painting is still deplorable. You left me alone.
They don't see! Tasteless malcontents! Professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? I see the dirt move, rotten soil, nothing else grows. Hey, 
hate it. Everyone hates it. I have to make it perfect. And so our agreement, although fruitful, must come to an end. We seek someone who understands modern art a little bit better, who is able to engage with it. And you, sir, don't seem to be that person anymore. Your reactions to other reviews and letters from our readers don't encourage further collaboration. Uh, that's a good question, Peter. In fact, that is a very common misconception. Some people think it's just about putting paint on canvas, but they're wrong. I believe that every detail must exist in the mind of the artist before the first stroke is made. The process itself is more about following these preconceived steps rather than just going crazy with the brush. Personally, I have always perceived it as a ritual. A ritual? Sounds ominous. Not necessarily, <laughs> though I will admit it carries a certain risk in order to create. The artist must first deconstruct himself, figuratively speaking, of course. If the artist succeeds, what most people see as mere tools of the trade will become the implements of his ascension. All the artifacts. I wouldn't go that far. Art is often quite beautiful, but the process behind it, rarely so. I need to start practicing. I don't care what he thinks about it. I'm not myself without music. Floor creepers. Traps in the floor. Devouring my foot. Afraid to walk. Chop, chop! Finish it or die trying. Finish it if it kills you. Don't let the doubt get you.
Art is not about watching. It's about feeling. With all senses, every part of your body. It's the only way to understand it. The only way to eliminate doubt.
I needed something to add the, how should I put it, final touches of finger. I needed a finger. Chopped it off. Easier than sawing a leg. Washed it, dried it in an oven, fell asleep. Almost burned it. Will I manage to pull this off? Fireplace, don't you think, honey? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Jesus! Did you just buy Jesus. half of the department store? In the end, what he needed was a sharp focus. He had to finish it. In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling. Uh, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your daughter, though. Home sweet home. Despise traitor. Come! You turned on me in time of need. We'll worry about it later. Now you have your prize. Watch our demise. One last spectacle by a half dead couple. A feast for your ears and eyes. Auditorium is ready.
Why would I need that? Are you insane? Precious silverware. June, don't forget. Finish. Finish. Just a little bit more and it will be finished. finished. Nothing will stop me from finishing it. Finish. Just finish it. Find it in yourself and finish it. Finish. Finish. Right. Just one more can. And be ready. Look at you. Who's a dead boy? Who's a dead boy? You are. You mind explaining this to me? I know what it is. Care to tell me how it got in my workshop? Stop lying! We both know it couldn't have gotten there on its own.
kill to be able to work. I will! We need to finish it! Have to see it. It won't be finished until you see it. To create is to reach into chaos, and chaos is darkness. Warm, soft, swarming. He understood it in the end. Will you? What music should we choose for the exhibition? A waltz? A march? A requiem. I shouldn't try to contain my art in the workshop. The world is my canvas. The work is never finished. She looks at me. Are you sure you'll finish this commission? She asks. Doubt in her eyes. Sometimes I just want to. It's you who passes it right. Let go. To find greatness. To find me. You Let go. and thirsty furry leeches, afraid to look up. Why don't you answer me? I need something. 
anything. Some old notes will suffice. I know you're dead, but we both know you're not really gone. Without you, it won't be finished. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Horror ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Such a delicious despair. You can feel it, can't you? Why won't you help me? You are a monster. Embrace it. You're mine. Vermin growth. Cancer of the house. Oh, God! The sounds! You know, even though you are my rival and the source of all my sorrows, you're also the only one I can still talk to. The only one who will listen. I'm not sure if it's funny or merely pathetic. <laughs> Probably both. Haunting mimics. Knock, knock, knock. Not gonna let them in. Only clothes left behind. I think I should be happy. Why am I not happy? I have a beautiful daughter. I think she is. I know she is. So why can't I look at her without feeling sick? I used to have a loving husband. Wonderful. Sensitive. Now, all I see is this strange man who only cares about his paintings. Like they matter at all. It's all so pointless. Music used to help, doesn't anymore. Hey there, princess. What? Oh, <laughs> this is daddy's medicine. Whenever daddy's hurting, this helps the hurt go away. No, don't touch that! Oh, God. I'm so... Wait. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry.
What is taking so long? Open this fucking door! I need to go! Open up! Hell is... Oh, God. No. No, 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 What have you done? No! I finally figured it out. And it's all thanks to you. You've showed me that there's no other way to your sad smile confirms what should have been obvious. We will not speak again. Someone had to bear witness. I couldn't just look at my own work. Art and the artist needed an audience, a critical eye on things. I knew what I had to do. I gouged it, scooped it up like ice cream, felt like a butcher, a monster. Yes, there was to come something beautiful from all this filth.
it hurts. If it wasn't for the damn rats, I would see the signs. I would. I would. I know it. It's all your fault. Do you see? Haunting me in my nightmares. Are you really that weak? I'd rather burn out in a blazing glory rather than slowly smolder day by day like you. Put it out. Put it, Put it out. out. Put it out. It doesn't matter.
squeals, the corruption they've brought. They devoured us alive. You destroyed us. say about it? How will you end his story? I used to hate you. Not anymore. I think even now, in spite of everything, I still might love you. You see, I finally understand. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. It took me a while. But I finally realized. Even with us, you've always been alone. I recognize that now. As the quintessential part of your being. But even for you, there's still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. If only for yourself. Yes. That's it. I see it. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other way. And it was all worth it. Perfection. Immortality. It was done. He finished it. Or did he? I believe in the end, he knew that one can't make art. A true art. Without cracks, without breaks, and without pain. I... I don't know what happened. I struggle with the part where daughter enters the scene. Too close to home? No. It's this place. This fucking island. This lighthouse. I was afraid and called. The generator died. I went to restart it. I know it happened. And then, maybe I was high? Or I actually saw my muse and had a conversation with her. Called later. But I didn't have time for it. I knew what to write. The block was gone. I knew how to finish this book.
maybe deep in his heart, he longed for them, for any presence other than his own. My palate was sated, nostrils stimulated, standing, venerated. It was never true, was it? Even before the depths of desperation, when the book became a hit, I already knew what I lost. I knew who she took from me. Ten years is a lot of time for a person to fail, to hit the bottom, to explore it and to find the darkest secrets of their craft. I'm coming back there. I'm getting him back. I wanted to thank you for this book. I, I've been struggling with my vocation as an artist and uh, reading about struggles helped me greatly in arriving at a decision. the ship sank, but... Despite our previous reminders, the above amount due remains unpaid. We regret to inform you that unless payment is received by this matter will be passed over to our debt collection agency. Look, I bought his favorite wine. I thought it fitted the occasion. I think I always loved how broken you are. I'm at, sad man. I'm at your precious lighthouse! Yes, I am aware of that. Don't interrupt me! I'm at the lighthouse, and I know how to hurt your precious queen. I know how to break that pact. So either you bring him back, or I'll show you what I can do with words! I will warn you that it is a fruitless endeavor. I don't give a fuck about your warnings! I will destroy her. I will get him back. I will write my own story. Congratulations on your comeback. We are delighted that after a decade, you still remember about our hermitage. Make yourself at home. I mean, after all, it is the only one you have. <sighs> 
What the fuck? When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. in here. I swear, that dog doesn't <laughs> shut up! What? Quit looking at me like that. That dog is there for a reason. Oh, all right. You can let him out. For now. Still life. <coughs> this place is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards! You're not getting away this time! No, that's not how it went. Maybe... I told you never to come down here!
when was the last time this place saw sunlight? What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense. Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser have some stories to tell. when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit.
That's right. The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally. Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. wrong with this thing? Huh. I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Mm. Yes. Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. <gasps> the princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air, its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. 
the wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait, that's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. No, no, that, that's not quite right. <sighs> Still not quite there.
that? Oh, no. Honey, I, I need you. I need my medicine. Oh, please. Oh, it hurts so much. Why won't you help me? Why are you punishing me like this? Whatever I did, I'm sorry.
hate you! Good! At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just... empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. I forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on. I know you want to. God, not that again. I know you're disgusted with me. Admit it. Right. I am disgusted. But it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with what you let it do to you. How you let it change you. Princess, Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. But I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Yes. Now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will? What I found was an apology expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt, trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. <laughs> I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. Give him. Princess, what have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But why pink? My very first memory is that of hitting a piano key. My small, chubby finger cold, smooth ivory under my skin. And then, acceleration. Pure joy 
as I heard the immediate response to my action. The sound that appeared just because I pressed that key. I'm not going to let it go. I won't be imprisoned. I need someone to confide in. And that someone is me. Hush now, my baby. I'll tell you a tale. There was a man whose world wasn't pale. There was a woman who made the world sing. And they found love the most beautiful thing. You mustn't give up. You had everything any of us ever wanted. You still do. Your talent, your marriage, your daughter. Neither of these went away. The only thing the flames changed was you. You have power over yourself. Live your life. Reclaim it. Don't let your body be your cage. After some time, they had a child that brought light to their life, a lot of light. She loved her parents, her dolls, and her toys. And even Daddy wasn't mad at her noise. Then, one day, there was a fire. It took from Mommy all her desires. She didn't know what to do with her life. how I looked. It's so dark in here. Time to let the light in.
take it away. I can't look at it. And don't try to bind me again. I hate this, but it seems simpler than playing the violin. For now. Feels like sewing myself in place, though. Binding myself to my prison. What would I do without you? This prison would be unbearable. What are you doing? I don't want it! Take it away! Take it away!
on like this. I need to break free. If the finger you put it on has been deformed, destroyed, does the marriage even stand a chance? Luckily, I can take refuge in music. That's when my shackles get lighter, if only for a little while. Even the gramophone helps sometimes. I feel much better after listening to some vinyls. Also seems to think it helps. We thought everything we wanted to hide would fit here. How stupid we were. Today, a lock jammed in the bedroom door. I started screaming, begging anyone to open. It was a good half hour before a maid showed up. I don't understand. I lock the door in the house all the time. But something about being in a room I couldn't leave was just unbearable. Even my instruments have their prisons. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating, but safe. Maybe you want to fly away into the unknown, and learn how to breathe again. Would it be better outside? I know it now. I'm measured. My room is shrinking every day. He paints it at night, and every morning the walls are this much closer. My prison grows smaller every day. I feel like my life is falling apart. Everything I touch breaks.
The painting is so bland that you have to focus to see that it's even there. Looks like the work of a person afraid to change his surroundings. Someone who's resigned and isn't willing to put himself out there. Who hates to see even his loved ones out and about and free. A man who will imprison his family just to stop them from getting better than him. Let me out! Whatever you say about this place, it had great acoustics. I could move souls. I could do anything I wanted with them. If I had them listening, this here, it was my place of power. Today after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin, and I just couldn't grasp the bow. The problem wasn't even holding it properly. It was holding it at all and not letting go, not screaming with pain. It's like my hands are in shackles, like every finger has its own ball and chain. I can't move them properly. She couldn't play, of course, but her dreams about music were something to behold. A painting as boring as this one could be conceived only by a person who doesn't feel or understand emotion anymore. A vile, heartless man, locked in a bland, boring prison. I just 
want it to stop. It will. We'll look for help. Everything will be all right. No, I, I don't want more strangers to see me like this. But I can't do this alone. I'm not a doctor. There's my work. There's our daughter. There's too much for one person. Please, darling. We need help. But the medicine helps. It isn't that bad. My body will heal. I will heal. I, I just... I need to be with my loved ones. With you. Not with the doctors. We can't let that accident take our life from us. <laughs> 